Pugilist is a mixture of Greek and Latin, meaning to fight with fists. Boxing is to clench the fist, holding the fingers and the thumb into a box. Ancient Greeks believed fist fighting was one of the games played by the gods on Olympus. Thus, it became part of the Olympic Games. In Roman times, the sport began to thrive. Duels to the death were the norm. During the Victorian era, bare knuckle began to disappear with the onset of the Queensbury Rules in 1867. The ten count, gloves on hands, referees. People began to lose interest and bare knuckle boxing became stereotyped as a sport for the criminal underworld. England's first bare knuckle champion was James Figg in 1790. Other famous fighters include Jack Broughton, Tom Cribb, Tom Spring, Jem Ward, Jem Mace. These fighters were celebrities. They were celebrated by kings and queens. Now, a number of promoters are working to bring it back into the mainstream. I went to the Royal Court Hotel in Coventry to speak to Jim Freeman, co-owner of BKB, the only licensed boxing company of its kind in the world to find out why he started the company. Basically what happens, I've been involved in boxing all my life. Um, I, I trained with Richie Woodall out in, out in, out in Telford with myself and you know, used to spar with him and stuff, but I just wasn't very good. So I've, I've then turned to myself as, as to be a fan. So obviously I've followed boxing all around, you know, from Princeton C, New Bang, all that sort of age, all the way sort of to the modern thing. Um, a friend of mine said to me like, do you want to come to a bare knuckle boxing fight? I was like, yeah, I'll have a bit of that with the night. And it was, in the hay bales, it was like a gangster's house, it was a bit like, oh, noise. I was like, yeah, I'll go and watch that. Um, and kind of went to watch that and ended up part owning the company, kind of evolved from there. So I saw something and thought, you know, I can do something with this. We can make something that's actually a sport. And I kind of fell into it really, but yeah, and I've ended up sort of doing it from there. And now I just, my whole passion and everything is, is to, to get this on the map. And he seems to have done just that. 3,000 fans packed into Coventry's Skydome Arena on Saturday to watch BKB5 their biggest show to date, which will be followed by BKB6 at London's O2 Arena. The crowds keep getting bigger, and companies such as ESPN and Netflix have taken a real interest in the resurgence of boxing's original form. Bare knuckle boxing continues to be popular amongst the travelling community, especially in Ireland with hundreds of fans following world champion Jimmy Sweeney wherever he goes. But the sport is now attracting fighters from all walks of life, including former professional boxers. What I would say is, we're attracting guys that have won European pro glove titles, you know, we've got Melvin Gillard on this show. Now that guy on January 28th headlined Bellator. Didn't just fight on it, he headlined it. That was watched by an audience of millions around the world. Now, to attract a guy like that, we've got to be doing something right. Um, to have someone like Dan, who was 10-0 as a pro boxer, take his gloves off to come and do the bare knuckle, there's a reason he's doing that. So, to attract them sort of people, we've got to be doing something correct. Dan Breeze had a professional record of 10-0, but decided to ditch the gloves in return for bigger paycheck. There's young Breeze here. It's my youngest, my protege, yeah? This this is the guy that's going to take him over from the king <laughs> when you tell you, yeah? That's, that's the king in waiting, yeah? That's the king in waiting, yeah? After my last one, I said, uh, so that's it. Going with the bedrock, I'm going to try to get back into boxing. Uh, Good to be mum, don't like it, though. So, what I do for my mum? Then these these goodies, opportunities come to me, and I just take them. Yeah, I'm going to take them. 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 I'm I was surprised by the camaraderie between the fighters in the build up to the show. They consider themselves one big family. Because the respect, the respect between the fighters is just for yeah, the Yeah, 100%. I boxed, I boxed in IA on a match room show, boxed two of them on Auntie Joshua's card. Never had a thing like being bare knuckle. Ne never. And yeah. That's the truth. No, the respect yeah. is just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. That's all it is. My, yeah, my kids, my twins, cannot wait to get here and watch it. You know, I, you know my kids really want to come and watch it. Yeah, I think, I think it's all summer. Do you think your kids will ever want to get involved in... Yeah, damn right. Damn right. But they're too lazy. They like the PlayStation too much. 
That's this day and age, isn't yeah. it? Phones. Can't blame them. We need a BKB game. Wish I was on the PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. BKB. I can't remember yesterday. <laughs> what did they just say? I don't know. See? <laughs> As Dan's fight grew closer, he became a lot quieter. He was visibly anxious about what lay ahead. I had to ask, why would you put yourself through this? Mate, God knows. I suppose an empty head and two kids. So do I. Wish me and you could swap roles. Wish I was videoing you. You're not feeling it at the minute. Feeling it, but I'm just, just nervous, thinking. Nervous and thinking. Do you think it'll be different after the fight, once you know what to expect? Yeah, as soon as the music comes on, I'll be different. I'll come to life. <laughs> After two rounds of punishment, Dan was clearly in trouble. His breathing was heavy, and despite the best efforts of his cornerman to lift him back to his feet, he'd had enough. His first defeat since becoming a professional fighter. 